Anybody, you know, is a fan of Marlon or the Wayans or any of their movies, you know, you get on board because you know it's just going to be funny. And then uh, for the movie to be so successful and be so well received, uh, it was great. So to be able to come back and do a second one is just, you know, this is fun. Father Doug Williams is a, is a priest uh, who got his study, his Christianity while locked up in Longpole, while in, in jail. Um, so I became a man of the cloth while being locked up doing a 20, 10, to, 10 to 20, I believe. And then I was released on early good behavior because I was doing it. But I still would stab and choke a motherfucker at any given time. However, I do it in the name of the Lord. I don't have any real skills. Um, you know, I think that my, my thing just said 1-800-PRIEST, you know, priest here, priest.com. I was general. I didn't say anything specifically what I do. So when he looked me up, it was just like, hey, do you do exorcisms? And I'm like, huh? Oh, yeah, how much it pay? After the first first movie, I actually thought that Malcolm would have lost my number because I definitely lost lost his. So I was surprised that he found me and through you know a set of circumstances because we black. His cousin know my cousin, his people, and he caught and it was that way. Like his aunt went to church with my mama who who worked at the same post office where he get mail from his cousin, and therefore the UPS man know me and we got all hooked up. And I was like, damn, not you again. They want you to be free in this movie, like as an actor, like just let go and don't worry about your inhibitions. And so it's kind of, um, it's, 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 it's great, it's exhilarating to be like possessed because then you don't really have any responsibility for the things that come out of your mouth. And boy, do I say some stuff in this movie. And it's like, hey, I'm possessed. If you want to argue with me in AACP, I was possessed, okay? If Al Sharpton got a problem with it, I was possessed, man. You wasn't dealing with me. You was dealing with a possessed person that was possessed between action and cut. He's a great actor and producer and writer, so usually the way he writes is he sets you up with great jokes in the beginning with. So you go, you come in and you see the, the, the palette and the canvas and what's kind of set up. And then as a producer, he has this, you know, love of comedy. He has this trust of what your ability is and what you can do. And so it is very quickly one of these things like, give me what I wrote and then please just go to work. I don't care. Do what you want to with it. The canvas is yours. It is hilarious. It's funny. It is definitely a beyond an extension of the first one. If you saw the first one, uh, you'll love this movie just as well. It's funny. It's a great premise. It's just exciting. It's got great stars in it all the way through. I mean, Marlon, I mean, Missy Powell, Jamie Presley, myself, Afion Crockett, just funny people that's all, come, you know, come together. Gabriel and Glicia, it's everybody just kind of meshed together to make this funny movie. And uh, I think people will really enjoy it. The way Father Williams prepares is usually that I, you know, I get fresh. So I put on my, my tightest, you know, uh, Father Williams gear. You know what I'm saying? From my new clothing line, Jesus Pieces, where I sell, you know, you know, shawls and black collars with diamonds. I got these like with diamond encrusted. So yeah, you can bling out your collar, you know what I mean? Like there's no reason to be no regular priest when people can be like, oh snap, our priest up there killing it.
There ain't no way you gonna sell no demon if you ain't got a little gin up in you, you know what I mean? I mean, people, you know, that, that ain't for everybody. People do different things. Me, I need a roll up a fat one. Yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shoot my gun, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, play that, keep that on me, boom. Throw that up, have that, I come prepared. Because some demons, you can just do them with, you know, prayers and beads. Some demons, you're going to have to bust a cap in their ass. 